um, with talking about dehydration. And uh, very simply, I looked at a lot of definitions on dehydration, and they were, some of them were very complica complicated, but very simply, this is the amount of water that's leaving the body is greater than the amount that's being taken in. That's all you have to understand initially for dehydration. Much more involved for nurses when they have to get into electrolyte and uh, electrolyte imbalances. But basically, you have for dehydration, more water is leaving than is coming into the body. I can't stress enough before we start this program how serious a problem in long-term care facilities, assisted living facilities, and other places this is as a problem for our residents and for the community at large. This is not limited to just long-term care. All of us from uh, birth to death are affected by dehydration, but we are especially susceptible when we're in a long-term care. One third of residents in long-term care facilities experience a dehydration episode in a six-month period. I'm going to say that again. That is so important. One-third of residents in long-term care will have an experience of dehydration. Can you imagine? And so when you look at this across the amount of a year, uh, we have to be so attentive to this, and hopefully we'll make an impact with this program today. I want you to understand that we always teach about dehydration in long-term care facilities, assisted living, adult daycare facilities, senior centers, how important fluid rounds are. But this is way more than just pushing it through and putting out fluids. It really is about consumption and why people consume and why they don't and what are the ramifications. So I'm delighted if you have a, um, a fluid card and that you make fluid rounds, but I, I want you to really understand why we're doing this. How serious is this problem? Well, the most serious consequence of dehydration, unfortunately, is death. And uh, dehydration is now and has been for a number of years considered a sentinel event by CMS. And anybody who works in a long-term care facility knows of other sentinel events like impactions. But we don't always think about dehydration until somebody is admitted to the hospital as a sentinel event. But any time this is diagnosed, you need to know and be aware that CMS looks so closely at this. And we're doing this because it's so important to our residents above all.